assalamu alaikum continuing with the next exercise of the same chapter factorization here we are going to discuss about uh, the remainder theorem and the factor theorem well uh, the remainder theorem states uh, that when a polynomial p of x is divided by a linear polynomial that is uh, x minus a then the remainder is equals to p of a this is what it says the remainder theorem basically enables us to calculate the remainder of the division of any of the polynomial by a linear polynomial without actually carrying out the steps of long division basically so without doing the actual division we get this kind of answers so let's see how so here according to this this kind this kind of a uh, manner what we can obtain we can obtain the remainder without having uh, the long procedure that is a long division so if we have this p of x as a polynomial which is equals to the quotient then it times to the divisor and uh, the addition of remainder that is or r p of x is your polynomial q of x is showing your question then this one is your divisor and uh, remainder is this like for suppose you write over here this is your question q of x this is your x minus a here this is your p of x and then what you need get over here this r so this is the way basically this is the uh, simplified uh, formula of simplified structure you can call to find out the remainder uh, now in mathematics uh, we are going to use the algebraic algebraic expressions to solve and simplify the remainder okay let's start here i have written a question for you that this is the uh, polynomial we are given find the remainder when this polynomial is divided by number 1 x minus 3 number 2 x plus 3 number 3 3 x plus 1 and uh, number 4 it is only x so let's begin with the man method that how we solve this so first of all we will let it p of x equals to 9 x square minus 6 of x plus of 2 now here we are going to do when p of x is divided by x minus 3 this first one by remainder theorem the remainder will be like this if we write it like this x r is equals to this equals to now first of all we have to understand that this is our x minus 3 okay so if we are considering this is x minus a as x minus a so here x equals to x will be equals to positive of a okay so here minus 3 it will be how much it will be positive 3 on the other hand side so what we will write we will write p of x uh, x minus 3 is positive 3 and uh, we will write 3 over here where there is a x in the expression we are going to put the 3 over there 9 and uh, 3 the whole square minus 6 x is here so we will write x 3 plus 2 no x over here it's a constant number uh, write it as it is so 9 3 3 is a 9 minus 6 3 is a 18 and 2 so it will be 81 minus 18 plus of 2 so 81 plus 2 it will be 84 minus 18 and it will be so here it is 99 81 minus 18 plus of 2 so 81 and plus 2 it will be 83 82 83 and minus 18 so it will when we subtract it uh, 83 and uh, 18 what we will get we will get 65 so 65 is our remainder we just obtained without doing the long division how we just put the um, 
question over here as uh, the normal answer x minus 3 equals to we will compare it x minus a then x will be equals to a so here x minus 3 will be equals to x is equals to 3 so we have put the value in place of x and then uh, by adding subtracting and uh, multiplying we will get the simple answer so 65 is the answer uh, as remainder if we divide it by long division we will get the same answer here we have got x plus 2 as a second part so we will write x plus 3 sorry x plus 3 as second part x plus 3 equals 2 we will compare it with the general term linear uh, uh, coefficient uh, linear coefficient divisor over here it will be x plus a equals to 0 so x equals to minus a so here similarly with the same manner x plus 3 will become minus 3 so our polynomial is p of x is equals to 9x squared minus 6 of x plus of 2 so we will put x p of minus 3 9 uh, minus 3 square minus 6 minus 3 plus of 2 so it will be p minus 3 it will be 9 9 3 is a 9 and 9 and 9 it will be 81 because it's a even term even power so minus will become positive and minus minus plus 6 3 is a 18 18 and 2 now 81 plus 20 sorry uh, yes 20 19 20 now next is 1 plus 0 is 1 8 plus 2 is 100 101 this p of a, a minus 3 we have got the remainder as 101 now next moving towards uh, 3 of x 3x plus of 1 so it will be what we will be do uh, we, what we will do it will be 3x equals to minus 1 so x is equals to minus 1 upon 3 so where there is a uh, x we will put my uh, the value of min uh, minus 1 upon 3 so now here I have got the value x is equals to minus 1 upon 3 I am placing it in uh, place of x so 1 upon 3 minus uh, the square will be 1 upon 9 minus minus plus and 6 upon 3 plus of 2 so here we got 1 plus 3 and the 3 to 2 the 6 and plus 2 so it will be 5 so p of minus 1 upon 3 answer is obtained as remainder equals to 5 i hope that you have understood how we are doing it uh, taking the last uh, value which is x only so according to x minus a it will be only x equals to 0 so this one is we are conceding as 0 so where there is a x we will put a 0 then we will get equals to min 9 uh, 0 x square minus 6 0 plus of 2 so this becomes 0 this becomes 0 so only p of 0 equals to 2 this is what we have got so I hope that you are going uh, to do the questions via your own self after uh, having uh, watched my video and the concept is clear, uh, completely clear to you. So in the next video inshallah come up with the uh, factor theorem. Uh, till then if you have any kind of question please let me know and uh, go through with the exercise of the same remainder theorem chapter. Inshallah you will be capable to uh, solve all the all sort of questions regarding uh, remainder theorem till then Allah is